Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at a nice little custom formatting trick that I saw on a post by Minda Tracy from my online training hub. And I actually put a link to that post where she talks about various ways of custom formatting. And you can see the link at the bottom of my post if you want to go to it. But let me show you the nice trick I learned. Let's say, for example, we have a list here of the days of the week, and uh, I want to set up my running schedule for that week. And uh, this could be used for maybe you have a table of contents, and you have the titles here and the pages here, or some kind of index or list, and you want to set it up so there's a spread between the two of them, but you want to have something to help the reader follow their eyes across. And the way to do that is using custom formatting. So let me show you how to do that. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just widen that first column. And I'm going to go to the View tab and get rid of grid lines. So again, we want something to help the reader follow their eyes along. So what I'm going to do is highlight the cells I want to custom format. And I can either right click on those and go to um, format cells down here, or I like the keyboard shortcut, which is Control-1, and that generates the uh, format dialog box, the format cells dialog box. And I go down to Custom, and right where it says Type, I'm going to enter at sign, the asterisk, and then from there, whatever other character I want to use to fill. In this case, I'm going to use a period. I'm going to say OK, and look what happens. Excel puts dots or periods or whatever character I use to fill the rest of the cell. Regardless how long it is or how short it is, that at symbol and asterisk plus whatever character we use will change that. So if instead I wanted to make it, um, instead of a period, I wanted to make it even, another, even an asterisk. I'll say OK, and now it changes it to an asterisk, asterisk to fill the rest of those cells. Again, going back to uh, the period, I'm just going to hit uh, Control Z, and that'll change it back to that. So whatever character you put after the at symbol and asterisk, it will use to fill the rest of that cell to make it easier to follow your eyes across from whatever your titles are to the data in the next column. And there you have it. Nice little simple trick. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you liked it. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.